You really wouldn't expect me to come back to this after yesterday's little rant, would you? Thankfully for you, that can be edited and cut down to a sensible length rather than the full 15 minute post-game ramble it turned into. But honestly, it is something I am concerned about for the future longevity of this game, because whilst the official competition in the official ladder is a good thing, and it does provide a challenge, and it is, for all intents and purposes, functioning as intended. I've hit my skill ceiling quite early. Um, the main thing that I have here, really, is I've had, like, three wins because of concession and 15 defeats where I've been absolutely bastardised because I've stayed in match. Because I'm a player down right now. So let's hire another lineman. There. I now lost money on my last game because of that. But I do need my boy back. I'm sorry, what? Uh-huh. Why is it giving me a female player when it's clearly a male player? I mean, are trans people a thing in, uh, in this game now? Is that a thing that happens? Right. That's weird. That's actually surprised me. Okay then, fine. Ah, my linemen are a bit of a bashed up bunch now, aren't they? Passing ability down for a broken arm, passing ability down for a broken arm, and armor value down for a head injury. Hmm. Maybe I don't field Herman anymore. He ain't so lucky now, is he? What do I do with this team, do you think? Clearly Gondras is going to die soon. Oakless is a risky player to keep around, but God help me, I love the little guy. He's a freaking touchdown machine. Uh, Duart is very easy to tackle, and I do want to rectify that. However, I am a bit more tempted to do this. But then, I do also want accurate on passer. On the ball, though, like, I don't know. Nerves of steel, running pass, pass, leader, dump off. Accurate. I mean, if I went with accurate, then it's better passing. Which is always handy, because I do want to get better at passing game. Bashing is not this team's forte. Um, actually, bashing is this team's forte, if you've got claws on everybody. Don't, I really don't want him to get tentacles or, like, or two heads or something, though. Like, if it was someone else, I wouldn't care as much. In fact, since it's you... There you go. Horns. He has become a blitzer! That's actually worth it for me, because, you know, why not? So, I actually have a dedig... Des dedig? Yes, a dedignated blitzer. Let's just call it that, because we know he's going to die in fairly soon. Yeah, I have a designated blitzer now. Okay, that works for me. Um, I don't know what else to do. Like, I know I could do something with that SPP. But by the same token, I can't. Um, do I? Do I, though? I mean, if he gets pile driver, it's absolutely useless. Strong arm. Mm. Ah, nah. I'll hold off. I'll hold off. Random on alignment paid off with horns. But uh, the rest of it, nah, not so much. Although, it did only add 10,000 uh, value to it, rather than 20. So if you pick random skills, your team value inflates less. Interesting. I didn't know that. Today I learn. And I'm not even in game yet. Wow. <laughs> How much do you need for a, a skill? Six. You need one more. 
All I've got to do is get him to pass the ball. <laughs> like that's ever going to happen with a passing ability of 5 plus. Uh, I don't know. I really don't know what to do with this team, if I'm honest. I kind of want extra arms on my boy. Just so that he's like better at catch and pick up, because after... After flubbing the match yesterday, which really pissed me off on a double 50-50, he cost us the game. Is he still my favourite player? Yes, because he's the captain, and he has the skills to kill anybody. Shame he never uses them. Could go with another reroll. Could go with another reroll. Probably gonna go with another reroll. Yeah, six rerolls. My team value is now nearly 2 million. That's probably the upper limit of what I want to get here. But then, well, what are you going to do? Ah, boy. It's taken a while to find an opponent. This really makes me wish that I could customise my players to be female players as well. Simply because I would actually like to have some female players on my team. Blitzkrieg. Do it. Prehensile Tail. So, my boy has a Prehensile Tail for countering dodge players. Okay. And again, Prehensile Tail is 10,000. Unless that's just the value that it adds for a mutation. But then, Claws, 90 grand. So it is just randomizing skills, half team value gain. Huh. That would explain why going for a secondary skill doubles the team value gain. Because it's stuff that they typically wouldn't have. It's an atypical team build which gives, potentially, a distinct advantage. Hmm. I mean, I'm a big fan of Prehensile Tail. Because, you know, minus one on dodge. Always good if you can keep them up. That's why I'm intending on getting Prehensile Tail on my troll. My Rat Ogre has it. I think with the Rat Ogre for the next couple of games, I'm going to try playing them not aggressive. I'm not going to tackle, I'm just going to mark and see if it helps. I think one of the main ways I fall down in this game is by overzealous assault. And I don't give my players enough of a chance to help themselves. Uh, Welcome back, Bloodbone. Dwarfs, really? I hate facing dwarves, and that's all I'm getting. All right then. They don't have many players. Their team value is going to be deflated. How much are they going to have? Four hundred K. That's a halfling master chef and a bribe if ever I've seen one. Unless they're just going to go with a wizard and re-rolls. Wizard and two re-rolls is very possible. That's a lot of money. They're going with Morgan Thorg for 380,000. Wowza. I mean, he's not really that good, is he? Flip it. Strength six. Wow. Shit. The 
Death Roller has guard and armor. They have 11 players on the pitch, I'm not counting 11. 4, 7, 10. I am an idiot apparently, yeah. 4, 8, 11. They're not playing the ball apparently. Strength of 7 and agility of 5 plus. Average agility on an ogre? Wow. Morgan Thorg actually has his value. He in strength 6 instead of 5. He's above average strength. And he has block. And an above average agility. We gained a team reroll. Nice. That was quite lucky on our part because they actually have more assistant coaches than us. Ah, uh, come on, guys. Team Spirit is the key. Well, except for me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> The death roller goes, but doesn't knock down. A snotling baked in a pie stands more chance than this poor. Morgan Thorg knocks actually, back my ogre. Well, well actually, no, he doesn't. <laughs> they just had a fun little scrap between them, huh? Okay. Go, the little guy. Didn't work. Is it worthy of a reroll, or are you sticking with the two? Come on. Together. Damn. Bad roll. Very bad roll. That's really unfortunate rolling off the bat there, if I'm honest. So, here's what's going to happen now. Uh, this, because charge down the wing. Here. Can we actually? You have guard and you don't, so what's that? Three assists from the dwarves. Does he have guard? No. Does he have guard? No. Does he have guard? No. So if I can get a player behind Lear and then do that. So you have horns, so you get plus one strength on a blitz. I may want to keep you back. Uart... Uart doesn't have block. So, I don't know. Do I want to use Uart for this, or do I not? I'm going to send my boy upfield with that. And I'm going to send Gondras up as well. Maybe if I send Gondras in here, because it's a good play for me. Um, that marks them. That gives us even strength. This gives us advantage. And trust me, I know what I'm doing here. Or do I, actually? Stand firm or get knocked. Whoa. Whoa. He got oh, no, down. He's on the ground. And then
Da, 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 da. Oh dear. I hope yes. that player has written a will, Bob. Written? Players can and then... Aha! Ah. No Pause did not proc. Shame. Ah, it's a bone head roll. I'm the taking it. Are, the thicker they tend to be. I have to take it. He has Lorna. I did try and injure the, or at least stun the death roller. Would have been way better if I could have done more. But since he's not, he can't do pretty much anything this turn. Knocking down a death roller. That's a first for my team. Well done, troll boy. I would have appreciated a stun. That way it would have removed the... Death Roller from the game for a while. Um, I've got a lot of players close to the ball and they don't really have much of a choice. If they want to play the ball, they're going to have to really play it. Ooh, six. He got the ball. Now what? Running him over there? Because I'm going to take down this dwarf, get my players all over the ball, and then we are going to absolutely kill you. Coming. The studio wizard has promised me at least one more before the final whistle. Okay, that's fine. <laughs> the Death Roller has regained his footing on his machine. Two big guys is always better than one. And Morgan Thorg has knocked me down. He has guard as well, so that's going to be... No, he doesn't actually have guard. That's fine. Go ahead, knock my big guy down. Provided it doesn't injure him, we should be good. That it didn't. Nothing good comes from spending any and time they let the him actually stay there. Dauntless, but doesn't pay. Push away. Ooh. And Dauntless proc again. They got the knock. They got the knock. Oh boy. Oh, he stunned him as well. Wow. Damn. Okay. Death Roller gets its free reign now. Risky business. Risky business. <clears throat> It's a failing. There's a reroll. It's not a knockdown, though. It's a dodge. Oh, wait, he has tackle. It is a knockdown. Ouch. Don't hurt me. Ah, oh, come on, man. Stuns all round, really. Are you for real, dude? A good coach always Mistake. uses the right player for the right job. Because now, if you push in and hold here, I'm just going to kill him instead of your other boy. Alright, that works for me. Nah, it's fine. I've got players I need. I put a prehensile tail player on the ball. I got you. Spread them out. Hmm. And and uh, he's standing there drooling. Knock him down! Barge down, and he's stunned. Lovely.
That's quite a few of the opposition surrounding that player. They need to be very careful. In these conditions, it's just Shit. crazy! Well, Death Roller gets a knock for free. It's the other team's turn. Doesn't matter. I took a risk to try and take down the Death Roller. It didn't and work. They start the turn in trouble. I had a reroll to use. I used it. <sighs> They've moved him back. I would blitz with Morgan Thorg, but it's a bit risky. That's a good choice. Lorna's not really a good uh, boon, shall we say. <laughs> He's fine. The last re-roll. The bloody runner runs for it. A gold Ouch. crown for every player I've seen lying on the field during my career. Well, I could start my own. Team. And now they're just going to get you all of the one dice rolls that run. always fuck me to go their yeah. way and clearly just dismantle ball, my team. Constantly writhing around on the ground. I should probably say something meaningful to all our cabal vision no. viewers. All I can think of is splat. There's the foul. That's going to be a KO. Still, they've left my troll, so hopefully I can get something out of that. Towards the death roller. Yep. What's his movement allowance? Six. So that means what? He'll get there next turn, turn after. Any strategy for the coach here, Bob? Uh, hit stuff. Out of the way. Get up or get off the field. That's it. That's it. Yeah, get out of this bloody match. Badly hurt. Get him gone. Are they going to apothecary you badly hurt? You have a reserve player. <clears throat> yeah. 
Hey! They escaped! I'm gonna leave it there. That player should punch the other enemy players quickly before trying it. Because there's no way in hell they're gonna dodge that. And I've got players everywhere ready to descend upon the ball. Yeah, they're now a player down, which is always good, because it's leveled the playing field. I've got a KO, they've got a badly hurt. It's fine. Oh, and uh, next turn, Claws are going to get stuck into that player to bring him out of the match, hopefully. I want some lucky rolls here. He has tackle, so that's the elf going down. No, Gondras, don't die on me, please. I know you're likely to get hurt here, so... Sorry to interrupt you. Yep, he's dazed. Well, you know, two serious injuries. It's likely to happen. Also a mighty blow. So, ouch. Yep, Morgan Thorg takes down the boy. With oh. Morgan Thorg stuns my boy. That's not fair. What are you going to do now? Blitz and then tackle him? It's your only option. Are you going to be smart enough to think of it? I would hope so. But then, regardless of where you get to now, I have my boy with claws coming to kill you. <clears throat> Locked up. Free to move. The death roll is also free to move as well. You can't argue with that really? Ball, can you, Bob? No. Fine, double down him. He's fine. Death rollers had the blitz then. They ain't moving the ball carrier. At least I hope they are. went for it and they got it they got it they took down my boy they've got him some breathing room now a good coach always uses the right player for the right well dog. mr prehensile tails getting knocked <laughs> night night ralph oh he's unconscious get him out Can you, Bob? No. You're just freeing up my boy to make moves here. Yeah, you've just literally gave a kill to my team there. Wow, are you fucking I've kidding? I've seen mushrooms that look smart. Yeah, I think attack, drop, and it didn't crack armor.
Don't get greedy. Yeah, and then just put nudge. I think that's all I can do. I'm currently sitting down two players. Well, quite a lot more than two, because, you know, the dazed boys are still on the ground. But, uh, Morgan Thorg, good purchase for the game. Hard to remove. The Death Roller, definitely getting off at the end of this half, so that's going to be a goner. Um, all I've got to try and do now, really, is get another couple of injuries with claws, and I have the player advantage for the rest of the game. Oh, and also, when uh, Big Boy McGuffin here gets taken off, Crash comes on. I've purposefully kept back one of my big boys to bring on extra strength when they lose theirs. At Massive Bifford Fan on Twerpa has just sent you a rather intimate message, Bob. Would you like to take a look? They can try to get everyone off the ball. That is something they can try to do. I would be very entertained if they could do it. Um, it'll be a risky move, but if they do it, they could be in with a chance at winning. Double push. They're gathering around that low That's a pow. Like halflings round a sandwich. This is gonna really hurt my boy. He seems a little stunned. He's down. He? It's not great. Death roll is going for a blitz. And it succeeds. My boy's getting hurt. Likes to be well assisted in a fight. That's another knock. That's a KO. He's out. Losing too many players now. Not because of your brain dead fucking self not being able to control your dumbass brainless drooling urges. Did you know back in 2479, the experiment to use ball ah. ran it. Hmm? On the floor again! This team must like worms or something. <laughs> Now you finally move. A good coach always uses the right player for the right job. That'll help the player move without risk. Kill him. Player on the ground. The coach will be spitting teeth about this. Hey, fuck you! You ain't pushing him off the pitch today. Pressure's on, Jim. What will they do? I've taken quite a tenacious approach to this, and it will work.
tried that Crooksied yet, Bob? <laughs> Fuck you, man. Area denial. And it's away with the absolute nothing over there. Da -da 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 -da. Perfect. Got a man on the ball. What are they going to do now? Nothing. You have guard. You have guard. No. Good. Right. I have used my blitz, haven't I? So. Aim for the troll player. The troll player. The troll slayer. Free roll. And kill. Now it's bloody Boom! Down he goes! to make a dwarf retreat. It's one of their greatest strengths. I'm fine with that lockup. They couldn't score because they failed. <sighs> yeah, well, you've got two players on the edge of the pitch. One of them is going off if you don't move them both, and they're both <sighs> locked up. So that's risky for you. I'm thinking, get rid of the runner, get a chance at hurting him. The Troll Slayer has freed himself. <laughs> Down goes my player. I've locked up that here perfectly, I think. But I can push to him into the corner. Fitness club. All you need to do is sign a fuck. Yeah, <sighs> I am down players at the moment. But given the end of this half, death roll goes bye bye. Strength becomes main asset, and their death roll is where all of their skills have gone. So when that death roll goes, I have an easy time. That's a good choice for this play. Didums. It's literally a no go anywhere. <laughs> Sorry. He's about to get punched above and Heavy you can take hits. I'm sure it'll be fine here. <laughs> yeah. I knew Habia would be fine. Oh, they're running for it. Oh boy. And it's a blitz. And it succeeded. Can you believe the look of succession with that runner boy? You won't leave him alone anytime. It's a takedown. And it's a KO. That's rotten luck as the ball bounces away. He can't move. He's got no movement allowance left.
with fists flailing. Oh. Horns, bro. They hurt. Oh well. I have locked up my opponent completely and utterly. They have no chance at getting that ball now, unless they get very lucky. The runner's got to go for it twice to get there. The troll slayer's out of range, and the death roller is as well. They got nothing over there. That's three players out of the game. Ah, my the boy is able to run far enough to escape them. Trade. They're all locked up. Yes, I Nothing can reach Oculus. After dinner speech at last year's G Oh wow, they're really going for this. The following riot was really quite wonderful. Damn, they actually got it too. <laughs> I'm impressed. He escaped with a dodge. Now they've got to go for it. Are they gonna get it? Please fuck him over. I swear to god I've done everything I can here. <laughs> yep! Oh, no, he got it! He got it with sure hands, and it's there! You lucky fuck! I'm going to have my revenge for that one. That's bullshit, dude. Fucking damn, man. Your dwarves absolutely getting dodges for days is bullshit. They shouldn't be able to dodge for anything, and yet they're average players. That's the reason I believe dwarves should be nerfed, because it's like average agility, average passing, average, pretty well, not average passing, but everything the that they had that was a detriment, except for their movement, is now gone, and if they have enough, like, they'll always have more players. Right, they're gone. <sighs> they're missing one of their key players. I smell weakness. You can't I just do that. Opponents do too. Two neck injuries? God, his agility is a six plus. That is terrible. Also, none of my knocked out players have regained consciousness. I'm not going to need the ball there, so. The defenders have a chance to get into position to prepare their formations. I'm going to try to injure Morgenthorg, because if I can KO him or injure him and get him out, they have nothing to stop my slaughter. Well, that sucks. Oh, that's a good one. Down! Can capitalize on this? Well, turnover. Morgan Thorg stays on pitch. And it's 1-0. Thanks to a clutch-up, blitz-play dodge oh, move. Good. My boys are back. Their boys aren't. So now, they have ten players. One team is missing its best player. So they've got three, four, and three. Yeah, ten. They're down a player. I now need to be very methodical in how I pick this team apart. 
shredding them with claws isn't going to be good enough. I need to lock up Morgenthau permanently. That might be a good way to lock him up. Because he has block, yes. But if I have someone with block and dodge, he isn't going to be able to knock him down. So if I put Gondras on him... Was only their, only their death roll I had guard? Four, three, three. I've got ten, so I need one more. I think I've got this. What was that kick? Well, there we go. Bobbed in by the fans. The whole dynamic of the game is about to change. Time for a bit of bashiness. Bashy, bashy. Down. And unconscious. Get him off the pitch. Lovely. Another player, another down. Get him off the pitch. It's great to be knocking out enemies. It really is. Good coach. All 
always uses the right player for the right job. No, oh, geez. Hey. Can't argue with that call, can you, Bob? No. Fine. I'm not bothered. <laughs> Let's see some blood in Blood Bowl. Da, 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 da. Ooh, that's gonna really hurt him. And then, yeah, the just woo, down. And then mark up Gondras. And then I don't have a clue, really. I think this might work out nice. Uh, yeah, go for the. Hey, nice job. Dodge, rush, rush. Wow, okay. That's maybe not a good idea. Um, that might be, though. Because then that locks up them two for now. Then again, can he even reach? No. Can he even reach? Barely. And he can, because he's a runner. Um... Yeah, you know what? Yeah, just Lord reinforce Mary. the line a little. I've got you out back here to get up, like, further field, so... This is my opening move! I have planned out nothing, and I have pushed oh. quite hard. I have KO'd one of the dwarves, gaining another player advantage, which is good. And then Morgenthorg. He just gets up as well. Wow. I would have thought he would have had, like, Bonehead to contend with or something, but no, he just gets up. I have to admit, though... I have locked up quite a large amount of their players, and if my big boy doesn't fuck me, which he may well do, I can actually get a good win out of this. I could have just given the ball to Crash and sent Crash up the field and been like, come on then, tackle the big one. <laughs> that would have been good, wouldn't it? What? Wow, they actually went for that? If that went wrong, that would have been such a bad roll. Uh-oh. Reroll. Lona. Nope, it paid off. He ran and he got it. He actually got it. Is it worth doing it again? Uh-oh. And it paid off again. Can you believe it? It paid off again. That was really risky. Double fucking loader, double fucking re-roll, and he got it. But he used two re-rolls on moving a player. Ooh, getting risky here. So that's four strength. That's five, and Dauntless procs. But then with the push, he doesn't get the strength bonus for the next tackle, and it's completely up to me. However, he gets the rolls he needs. Pretty risky. Yep, he gets the rolls he needs. But then he's going to have to follow up again. Oh. And my big boy is down and stunned. It's not good for him. What's the movement allowance of Morgan Thorg? Six. That's a good choice for this play. He didn't see the opponents around. He gets him. another one. Don't know how you have strength advantage on that, but um, sure. Would love to know how you have strength advantage on that. Because that shouldn't have been strength advantage to him. No. That actually shouldn't have been strength advantage. He's now as free as a fork in a Unless there's a bitch there. He shouldn't have had strength advantage on that, should he? No, he shouldn't. How did he get strength advantage on my player? Was that cheats? Was that legit cheating that I just saw there? How did he get an advantage on strength there? That was literally marked and marked. Well, Neither of them have guard. 
How was that an advantageous dice roll? Or was that down to like actually being out strength? I think that was actually down to being out strength. Surrounded by adversaries like that. I hope he knows what he's doing. Done. They've got the advantage, but there is no sure thing in blood. Oh. The Serious injury. He's down. He's out. Night, night, bitch. Enjoy your injury roll. Go on, either re-roll it so he can come back nice and strong after his serious injury and lowered armor value. Or get rid of him, because he still has it. <laughs> I hate dwarves enough to be proud of that. Screw you. Get him off. Okay, well, rise from your ashes, my boy. It is time for you to enjoy yourself. That's it! That's the touchdown! It's one all! Finally, Oakless redeems himself with a good touchdown for the first time in a lot of games. I have, at long last, broken the drought of touchdowns this team has had, and fought back against the opposing team well enough to leave them hobbled without a couple that more players. Must have the magic Welcome back, this. friend. That's a touchdown! I'm so excited! And their injury and their KO has not recovered. This is the worst possible start to this half for the opposing team. I'm now on defense, however. But here's what I'm going to do. You see, I need to take someone off. Who do I take off? Prehensile tail, horns, or the uh, Lizalot? The boss lady is its nickname, then. I'm sorry, but there are no room for rookies on my side right now. Yeah, I quite like the fact that I can have Crash in the wings. He's actually a good winger, because he can just run up the wing and be like, Yep, iron wall. I think I'm good here. Yeah, let's move him up. Have like a flat pack eight. That is a pretty nasty way to kick off, though. A serious injury to remove a troll slayer, and then touchdown immediately after. So I lost a player, and then the opponent got a touchdown. Sorry, pal. It's just not happening. You got one more. You got one more re-roll, and then this game rolls in my favour always. After that BS that they got a touchdown in the first half, I'm glad to have caught this back to a draw. This is actually a game of Blood Bowl I will enjoy. I'm actually gutted they got the reroll right there, though. Off the bloody shoe hands skill.
Hopeless, my lad. Kick it. Hey, shallow ball. Who gained a re-roll? We did. <laughs> we gained another re-roll. Oh, that's unfortunate. That's actually really good for them, though, because they have two runners on the ball. They can get it by us. I just need to go for immediate KOs here. It's a double hitter. They're going to bring one player down. Yeah, stun. That's fair. I've had plenty of injury stuns. They haven't. Dauntless failed. It's not great. And he's going to have to push and then fight again. We're going to be here. He got the POW on a level playing field, thanks to Dauntless. He got it. Oh. Nine. He's fine. He won't be when I get to him next turn. Uh-oh. Uh, uh, uh. Hey, he got it. He got the ball. And he's running. He's running downfield with those little legs of his. Morgan Thorg has marked a player. He has left me with quite a nice way in, though. If I can shift that boy. That's a good cage now. It's a run. It's there. Damn, that's actually a good start. A good coach always uses not so right much there though. The right job. Nope. Sorry, your last move at a turn was underwhelming. I got a three. Wild animal. That's four, five. Yeah, so that's like four strength, five strength. Yeah. Even blitzing at that point is not going to help me out much. Didn't see the dwarf behind him. Unfair camera angle. Short ass little fuck stick should have been visible. Wasn't. Now I've got a stun and I fucked up. Always bad. Should be able to see the little fucking scrot when he's there. Actually, no, it was the Troll Slayer. I should have been able to predict that. I put him there. I fucked myself. Great. Yay me. Complete fucking spastic, aren't I? At least in that moment I was. Good coach always uses the right player for the right job. Be a kill. Like Not stun. Right. There was only going to be one result in that spot. And then they're going to run down the wing. Focus needs to move in. I know what I'm going to do next turn. It's pretty obvious what I'm going to have to do. They're going to blitz him. And then really try to push hard. That's a success.
A blitzer with a double serious? I could have targeted Are him magic for an easy kill. Really magical, Bob? That's a trade secret, Jim. That's a good choice for this play. No, it isn't. Get him on the floor. These dwarves good. really are tough little boys. Have fun on the floor, bitch. Because now I have an advantage you really didn't want me to have. Claws did not get its activation, sadly. You can't argue with that call, can you, Bob? No. Damn, Orclus well, has oh, been let down by Habir, who is now stunned as well. They're getting a lot of stuns now. I'm starting to get slightly pissed off with that. Oh, I can't believe this. So many things. What is this? Still, I've got players on the ball, and they don't. So, go ahead and do what you can. Morgenthor gonna blitz. I've got four players on the ball. You can't argue with that call, can you, Bob? No. Off the pitch, off the pitch. No, nope, up there, fine, good. Grandiose. There's only one word to say about this, Bob. Not a word, Jim. A sound. Crutch! <laughs> Choice for this play. Not really. They got nothing. <laughs> Stalemate. One of them should hit harder next time. Oh, that's a bad ball for us. Now's the time, Jim. If one of the teams got a play hidden up their collective <sighs> sleeves, then they need to action it before time runs out. Just please just stand him up. Thank you. <laughs> Boom! Good night, little man. A good coach always uses the right player for the right job. Claws got a stun. You can't argue with that call, can you, Bob? No. Stay put. Ah! Woo! Swift kick to the head, drops the dwarf. Without risk. He doesn't have blocks for this play. No G's got himself Ooh. out of a dangerous situation. <laughs> uh, 
risky, but I'm going to do it anyway. They've got four turns. Well, three turns technically, because by the time they get on the ball, it's going to be a lot worse for them. But, you know. Yeah, they're going to just leave them down. But if they leave them down, my big guys get a free pass to move in. And then if they get a free pass to move in, I'm going to take down all of the dwarves as well as Morgan Thorg. Quite glad that Claws got its uh, its teeth into one of the boys and dropped him. Now I just need to use horns to get a little bit of a strength advantage on one blitz, and I can get the ball. And my XXXL size cheese shake. They rezzed him. Therefore, that's going to be the play. They got him up. Are they going to get up the runner? Because I'm quite eager to crowd surf him for a player advantage. Fight can be so. Overrated. There's always room in spot for a scrap. Is like he gonna this. follow up? Or is he gonna stay there? Follow up, please. Hey, nope. It's a down. And he's off the pitch. Seriously hurt. Seriously hurt? That's only an MNG, isn't it? Yeah, it's missed next game. Uh who are you that's been injured? You are one of the Griffin Prince. Yeah, you're they like missing the next game. I don't care. Gonna stop the ball. I legit do not care that you're missing next game, buddy. You've done not much this game. Except hold the ball down. idea how much you just helped me there, do you? <laughs> concession you fucking coward you conceded how worthless this is why I hate Blood Bowl that should have been SPP for me and instead it was like I give up pathetic at least it was most of the game that was played so I can at least gain XP on the blood pass and gain another level which is always nice however that being said, I'm still not happy with how that ended, and I think they should forfeit, uh, forfeit, forfeit all SPP to punish the fact they quit, because you should not be rewarded for that. Well, you're... are you even missing next game? Huh. Either way, Oakless gained 7 SPP for his touchdown and his MVP, which is great. Marek Scorpion, who has the broken arm, gained some for an injury. And when the Griffin Prince actually gained something. So yeah, it's a win against dwarves. You can fuck yourself. I don't like people who quit. I also gained a hundred grand because I get all of the gold from that entire match, which, yeah, generally it's a nice little boom to my, uh, my coffers. Happy with it. So, with that, the drought comes to an end. I'm still pissed off that I ended up having a concession, but, well, what are you going to do? Anyway... I've gained level 39 on the battle pass, or on the blood pass, I keep calling it the battle pass because that's essentially what it is, let's face it. And level 48, bats, where there is red and nurgling green, huh. And next level I get Varag the Ghoul Chewer. Okay, that, surprisingly, is a win. I'm quite happy with it, if not very annoyed my opponent conceded because I would have liked to have scored that touchdown. It's just scummy of them to just quit out as soon as you get, like, the chance at winning. And that's what I don't like. But I'll take a victory over a loss. That's eight victories. Finally broke the back of an opponent. Not to mention it was an opponent who was severely 
well, undervalued, and had Morgan Thorg basically ruin my day for the entire match. Now, you are on Miss Next Game. Shame. You have 12 SPP. You need 20, don't you? I could go for a random one. And hope I get a good one. Nah, I'll upgrade him fair and square. He's almost level 6, and I'd like to give him manual skills right the way through. Um. Scorpion has 4. Actually, you could get a mutation. But I actually kind of want to put, like, tackle on you. 12. Worth it for tackle. I think that's pretty much all I'm going to be able to do here. I really need to start getting some points on Crash as well. At any rate, that is that. That match was fun until they conceded. See you in the next one.